Hello everyone, Big Game Hour here. Back with another Music Magpie. One for Sorrow, two for Joy. Created by Sean Retro Games Revived. Again, link down below. Yeah, I said on the last one I wasn't going to do anymore. This is number eight. Yep, number eight. <laughs> You've got seven of these rubbish now about to watch this one. So basically, I've been at it again. <laughs> Good old Music Magpie has given me a massive pile. So we're going to do the three loose ones up. To be honest, I forgot forgot what I've ordered. I can tell you now, it's all 360 stuff. So Stu, Dana, all your other ones who don't like 360, turn off now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's... I believe it's about 40 games, I think. I can't remember, I've been... Literally, I've, I've, I've had these ones ages. But I was just waiting for the big box to turn up, and that turned up today. So, yeah. Let's get into it. So, if you don't know by now, we're checking cases, manuals, this artwork. If they're good, they're a two for joy. They're sad, they're a one for sorrow. So first up, we've got one with loads of stickers all over it. Looking at that, the case is going to be upside down again. What a spy manual. Oh, oh we need lost the disc. Oh, yeah, the artwork is upside down as normal. Manual's upside down, disc was back to front, but yeah. NHL 08. It is... I went off by the looks of it. I think the case might be a little bit damaged, but again, I've got loads of cases, so I can just do a case upgrade. Which is a shame, really. It's only that little corner there. I might keep I might keep it in this case, just because it's got a holographic sticker on there. For now, anyway. Till I come across one at a charity shop or something. But yeah. That is going in a two for joy pile. Put that over there. Right, next up. Oh. Should have got some scissors. Keep watching Rob's videos and not doing it. Right, what I'm missing? Battlefields. Battlefields 2. Modern Combat. I thought I had them all. I didn't realise that Bad Company 2 was a completely separate game. And yes, we have a manual. And the box is in good condition. And because this one ain't broken, just for Sean. Oh, that sounded good. Let's do that again. Yeah, artwork is good. Got some. I'll clean that up after. You don't want to see me removing stickers and stuff. Right. Two for joy so far. Can we make it three out of three? Ah, oh. this one shouldn't be in this video. <laughs> this was an eBay purchase. I didn't realise I'd ordered it off a uh, Music Map by eBay. So yeah, we won't, we won't be showing that one. <laughs> Wonder why I had a different colour case. Right. <laughs> Next up. Shaking the old camera about, we'll pull these out one at a time. So first up, oh, one I'm glad to have in the collection. I've got it on the PS3. And I believe it is the only TNA game they actually made. And it feels really heavy. We've got bonus disc in here, what have we got? Oh, it appears it's a two disc game. It is literally, bonus disc. <laughs> I weren't joking when I said I've got a bonus disc in here. Nice thick manual we've got. Oh, we've even got like, what's this, a poster? Oh, here we go. Putting out all the stops for this one. We've got a great big TNA poster. Well, I say great big. We've got their AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe and Booker T on the back. Oh, 
don't often see posters in things. And it looks like it's got a nice bit of art on the inside as well. Someone getting kicked in the head, who's that? Kurt Angle getting battered by someone. AJ Styles, I'm guessing. But yeah, that is definitely a, a joy. 100%. Right. Next up, we've got Watch Dogs. Yeah, I've not just been buying early titles, Rob. I do buy the later letters as well. So we've got W here, Watch Dogs. <laughs> Two discs. Uh, install disc and a game disc. While well, I'm looking at that, might as well just check them. Ah, oh, yeah, that is spotless. Yeah. Watch dogs. Box nice and clean, no damage. Definitely a winner. All right, next up. Ah, oh, this one. Didn't know where else to get this from. Saw it and I thought I'd go for it. I don't think this has a manual. Haven't checked if there's one inside yet, and that is Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged. I don't think these are meant to have manuals. Because I've got another Xbox Live, and it doesn't have one, and I was told it don't have one, so I don't think this is meant to have one. Bit sticker removal, live. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if that's meant to have a manual. Next up is Fracture. I don't know if this is any good or not. It feels heavy. I mean, it looks like the rip off of gears by the looks of it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got a manual in there. Got a disc in there. Yeah. First person shooter. There you go. And the two in there. Just the last one in there. Ah, oh, one I was told I needed to get. So now I have it. Hopefully. It don't look, oh, it's got a manual, yeah. Can just spy that through there, Rob. And that's XCOM. Enemies unknown. Yes. Complete with manual. We are doing well so far. This is all of them. So what's that so far? Seven. Seven of them are joys. Now I can guarantee you that not everyone I'm going to show you today is a joy. Because I've spied through the box with this big hole in the side of it. When it got, when it got delivered. It's got a big hole in it. And not all the cases in there are green. So. Let's crack into this and pull one out one at a time. Here we go. What has Music Magpie sent us? Yeah, there's a couple in here what are not in 360 cases. Got a nice uh, padded envelope for free. They're always handy. Cheers, Music Magpie. Keep that to one side. Right, let's go through these in order then. So, first up is Tiger Woods. PGA Tour 2007. Feels nice and weighty. Yes. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, we've even got a bit of uh, Xbox Live in there, unscratched. 48 hour free trial. Got a little uh, official gaming guide so you can see what games are coming out so you know what to buy. And a manual. And with this being 13 years old now, I will check the disc. A few fingerprints on there, but yeah, nothing. Complete. Getting them early sports titles ticked off. Why they're two for three pound. Right, next up, Far Cry 3. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. 
or thought that was going to be a foul in, but no. Manual is just back to front with some leaflets at the back of it. All nice and complete. I've not actually played a Far Cry game. I've watched a few gameplays of them, they look pretty good. So, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks a little bit like Uncharted style by, that, by the looks of that there. So, uh, look forward to getting that go. Let's move this out of the way, give myself a bit of room. And that way I can't peek what they are when I start taking them out. All right, so next up is, what's this one? Oh, that Jonah, Jonah Loman, Lomon, Lomu. Jonah Lomu, rugby challenge. Yeah, rugby game. And we have a manual, which is good. This is really going well. Oh, it's a, it's a bit of a foul here. Eh? A little bit of a foul. Yeah. Someone tell me what they are. Yes. It's got an E on it. We have American manual and American disc. Little bit of a foul. This will have to be upgraded at some point in the future. But I've been told a lot of the American 360 games work on the PAL system. So I'll have to give it a try and if it works, I'll put it in the wall as a placeholder for now, but that will definitely be getting upgraded to a PAL copy at some, some stage. All right, first proper foul. In fact, I'm gonna put that in the foul pile just because it's American disc. Black site. Now, is this gonna be a foul that's gonna be upgraded? Oh, well at least it's got a manual in there. So it's a foul because of the, because of the box obviously not being green but it's got the disc it's got the manual it's got the cover art it just needs a box upgrade and I've got a few spare ones so I can just swap that over so yeah that is it's going in the foul pile but it will go in the wall all right this is Disney Infinity 3.0 I've got 2.0 so I had to add this one to it yep it has a nice thin manual in there it's like four pages we have the disc these are literally just collection pieces because I don't own any infinity figures I don't even own the thing that it goes on so yeah it is literally just to sit on the shelf until I figure something out and I can play it. But it's a win. Ah, oh, here's one I was happy to get. This one wasn't in the two for three pound deal. This was one I bought separately. And that's Batman Arkham Origins. And yeah, this, this is one of the later ones. It doesn't come with a manual, but it's got a little slip cover on there. The box is going to need upgrading because I've just had that land on me. Where's that come from? Oh, it's hidden under the sticker here, but yeah, it's got a bit missing. So that is a box upgrade. But to be fair, where that is, you can't even notice it for now, so. That will just go on the shelf as is and then I'll get a box later down the line. There's other things that need boxes more important than that, so we'll put that in the win. Another early sports style, and this one has actually got a good case on it because it's got a hologram and I didn't want to lose that. And it's NHL 10. And it feels weighty. So let's check. Yes. But this this doesn't come under an early sports style, I guess. I reckon this is like one of the mid-range ones. But it is it is technically one of the earlier ones, so it is getting harder to find. But it's a win. Next up we have 
NBA 2K7. This is one of the early ones. It is 2K7, I can assure you. It says it right there. <laughs> it feels really heavy. The box is lovely. I, yeah, I can see a manual. You look through the box, you'll see it. Big, thick manual in there. And there it is. Oh, I've even got some 2K Games product card. Here we go. What, what game did we buy? What system was it on here? Oh, all the same old rubbish. But they're nice to have, just as little collector's pieces. Being an earlier sports title, oh, just check the disc. There's a couple of them. Is that a hair? Oh, it's got, it's got one little scratch on it, but that's not going to affect the game. That is another win. How many wins are we up to now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 games going in the wall. 14 technically when I upgrade that one. Next up is one you can get everywhere for 50p, but I thought I'd just chuck it in here while I was going for it. Beowulf, the game. Again, I've got this one on the PS3, but... Picked up for the 360 for the G. Had to get the G. Yeah, it's, I've played a little bit of it. It's not a bad game. There's a lot better ones to play out there, but... Oh, is one I'm not happy with. And it's only a cheapie as well. Halo 3. It's got a clear case. No green. It can be rectified. We have... Oh, no. Wait, is this the manual? No, it is a foul. It has a poster, which is nice. But there's no manual in it. So I can't even use this as, to upgrade a different box. But it's got the disc, it's got... I mean, that's, it's nice to have the poster. I can put that in when I get another copy, but... Oh, it's not good, not good. This one feels light. No, I can see a manual. This is Escape Dead Island. This looks like a fun retro, retro style, is that like adventure platform style game? If you've got Escape, it's probably some puzzle game in it as well. Stealth, combat, explore. Uh, it doesn't actually say that it's a puzzle game or anything. But, yeah, it's just an adventure game. But I did spy a manual through there, and there it is. If you can call that a manual, hold on. <laughs> it's one page, literally. Tiniest manual going, but it's got one. And that is the main thing. So it can go into the Z-Joy pile. Right, this game I ordered last time, and this one's feeling a bit more weightier, so this should be a winner this time. Pez 6, or Pro Evolution Soccer 6. Yes, we have the manual, and whatever else is under here as well. We've got a little, can we play you every week? Can we play you every week? Never seen that before, so that's quite nice to have. We might pull out leaflet again, another little Konami, Konami one. And nice manual. Disc and artwork. And a nice click for Sean. So yeah. If anyone needs Pez 6 with no manual, let me know. I've got a copy. Next up is Virtual Tennis 2009. Virtu Virtua Tennis, not Virtual. Yes, manual. Yeah, as you can tell, doing these is pretty much just 
sports games. <laughs> sports games and cheapies, but it's another joy. Right, first of two Connect games. Yes, I do buy Connect games now and again. I don't separate them, as some people have pointed out. They literally go in whatever letter they are. So this one is going to go under F. If anyone can tell me what it is. F. It is Fighters Uncaged. And I say it's going to go under F. Let's hope it's got a manual. Yes. It is going in the wall. That is definitely a winner. Nice manual, and that's all that is crisp. Let's try not to bend it getting out. Yeah, that is. I think someone's had the iron over it, or either that or no one's touched the thing before. Yep, that is a winner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. One of them's got a dodgy colour case. I think that might be how it goes now. I've seen what game it is. Uh, next up, Fallout 3. Complete with manual. Please stand by. Again, Fallout series. I've never played any of them. Need to give it a go. It looks like a kiddies game with the old little cartoon boy and then you go down, it's an 18. Yeah, another, another like first person shooter that. Right, let's hope this one has got a manual, and if it has, I will be very happy to add it. It feels like it has. It is one that I've struggled to get hold of. Well, for a decent enough price anyway. And that's FIFA 06. Yeah, Rob, you are right. These ones are tricky to find. This one comes with an official FIFA case. Please be a manual. No, I thought it felt heavy. Must be because of a different colour box. No, we've got a foul. If anyone has a manual for FIFA 06 Road to the World Cup, please let me know down in the comments. I would really like it. Because I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, missing 13. I think I've reordered that. It might be coming. Or have I got it out there? I think I've got 13 now, so I think I just need this one and 18 and 19. So that is a foul, it's not good. Four to go. This one doesn't feel very. Oh no, it's got a manual. I, didn't, I thought this didn't feel very heavy then. So it's a Tom Clancy game Ghost Recon, Future Soldier. Loads of these Tom Clancy games, they're like another Call of Duty style games. Had something else in it, but it's fell out. We've got a manual, which is a good thing. Got some things to get sank extra, might not have been used. And, oh, what's this? I've got a passport. I won't show you the other side, because it's got code on it. Just in case, you never know. Might have a bit of DLC or something on it. Well, yeah, that one is a win at least. All right. This one is the most expensive one out of the lot that I bought today. And I can feel it's really heavy. And it is one that I have been told I need to get because it's quite a tricky one to find. Or was it, it's a good game, it might have been, it's a good game. Rather than tricky to find. But, I think this cost me six pound. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Run out of memory. <laughs> right, so as I was saying, this game cost me six pound, 79 I think it was. And it's eight pound in CEX. And that's Beautiful Calamari. Namcot, Namcot. And it felt really heavy, so I'm guessing it is complete. 
I mean, it might not be the right game, but it's got a manual. It's, my God, that manual. Look at that. It's like a graphic novel. Is it the right game? Yes. Beautiful calamari. Only for Xbox 360. Box is in nice condition. Someone paid $39.99 for it at one stage. But yeah, that is all nice and complete and going onto the shelf behind me. That is another joy. All right, next up is a foul. Because it is a classics. I will check because maybe this only comes in a classics. I know a few of them do that, but as purpose of this video, it will be classed as a foul until I find out. So, Advanced Warfighter, Tom Clancy again, Ghost Recon. This is complete at least. At least it's got the actual disc that says Classics on it as well, so. But yeah, for now, that is a foul. Two left, next one is another foul because it needs a box upgrade. And I don't think it's got a manual. That's Aragon. Yeah. Oh, it has got a manual. Just needs a box upgrade. Lovely. Disc has got uh, just fingerprints. Thought the disc was damaged, but it's not. Yeah, this box is falling to bits anyway. What's all this out here? Not? Put my finger for it. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, it's got it's got the manual in this. I mean, it's been been got hold of at some stage or another. But yeah, the artwork is. Let's push that back out. Yeah, make sure the artwork don't get damaged by it's uh, waiting to go in its new box. But yeah, that's, that's going in a foul for now. I mean, the box don't even shut. And the last one, we've finished with a massive hitter and it feels really light, although I can't really see this having a thick manual in it anyway. I said I could see two Kinect games. And the second one I've managed to pick up is Get Fit with Mel B. So let's see if she can help me out. But it feels like, is there a manual? Oh, there's no manual. No manual. So I'll have to double check if this is meant to come with one. I believe it does so. It's gonna be another foul, I'm afraid, until I find out. But, yeah. We've had quite a bad one this week. I mean, I can just do with a box upgrade. That just needs a box upgrade. That just needs a box upgrade. So really, we've got four fouls. Mel B, which potentially could not be a foul. Ghost Recon. Advanced Warfare, which technically could come in just classic. I don't know. So we could have two. But these two definitely are fouls. FIFA 06. Gutting. I really need that FIFA 06 to complete it. And John and Loma Lomu Rugby Challenge with its uh, American disc and manual in it. Yeah, didn't even think they like rugby over in America, but apparently they do. And three that will be going into the collection that just need box upgrades. It's Black Sight, Halo Three, and Aragon. And for the wins, we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 out of 24, uh, no, 21 out of 28 actually going in. Including that lovely, beautiful calamari at the top there. Well, yeah. All of them will be going into that wall behind me after I've cleaned them all up in a minute. 
So yeah, again, sorry for the car in the middle. Battery just died. Uh, not battery, the uh, storage got full. Please do check out Sean, Retro Game Revive channel. Again, link in description. He needs more subs. Get over, check him out. You may even make the community news. So yeah, that is number eight done. Um, I could sit here and say there's not going to be another one. I haven't planned on ordering anything yet, but you never know. Stuff might come on there. I mean, I think I've got most of the cheat games out of the way, so if I do go on there, it might just be the odd one or two, and I'll just open them up on a normal pickups video. I might even like just do them live on a normal pickups video if there's just like one or two. But yeah, who knows? So I might get a big job lot in and have like loads of one pound fifty games I need the old two for three pound offer, and I'll just go and buy them all and put them in there. <laughs> so never say never, but. It might be a while before you see one. But yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.